I spell here. Um, sorry it's taken me so long to make my third archaeology video, but I was at an excavation in Belize in Central America and travelled a bit and been back at uni. Um, but here we are. So I'm just going to do a pretty quick one today on the difference between BC and BCE. Um, I'm sure most of you, I hope most of you are pretty familiar with the BCAD dating system, um, but not all of you would know the BCECE one, which is one I prefer to use, um, though they're really not that different. So uh, prior to 525 AD or CE, um, Roman Christians used they broke up time in terms of consulships. In 525, uh, a man by the name of Dionysius Exegus, I think that's how you say it, um, decided he's going to help set up the calendar to identify the era of martyrs. Um, and he came up with the dating system using BC and AD, starting in what he thought was the year that Jesus was born. If you don't know, BC means before Christ and AD means Anno Domini, um, not after death, like a lot of people think. Um, Anno Domini is Latin and literally means in the year of our Lord. So basically, before Christ was here and then once he had come. Now there are a couple of theories why the BCECE dating system was created. I haven't been able to find any information on when it started being used um, but basically BCE stands for before the common era and CE stands for the common era um, now if you're part of a non-christian religion or like me you don't subscribe to any of the major religions then you don't think of Jesus as being Christ and therefore it doesn't make sense to use the before Christ Anno Domini dating system um, However, there is something to be said for the fact that the BCE-CE dating system is still using, it still speaks about time in a Christian framework. Um, it's just a different name for the same thing. So there's not, there's not really a huge amount of difference. So one of the theories for the BCE-CE dating system being created is that um, in the Gospel of Matthew, it states that Jesus was born in the time of King Herod, um, who we know actually died in the year 4 BC, which if correct means that Jesus, the latest he could have been born, was 4 BC. So obviously it makes no sense to say that Jesus was born four years before Christ. Um, so scholars developed the BCECE dating system so they could refer to Jesus' birth as being in the year 4 BCE. That's one theory. Um, another theory I came across is that sometime around the 16th century, Europeans began using the common era dating system instead of referring to the particular year of a regal reign, um, which is how um, they sort of defined time frames was according to who was the ruler at the time. I guess similar to um, the Romans. Um, yeah, whether those are true, I'm not sure, but that's kind of um, what they think. As you probably know, um, in the years BCE or BC, the number of the years counts um, down to, num to one. There is no year zero. And then in CE or AD, the numbers count up from 1 to where we are now in 2013. Um, so the fact that there's no year 0 is a sort of minor mathematical problem um, that I think gets overlooked. Um, but yeah, that's what it is. It is what it is. Just a fun fact, in Judaism, year 1 is 3760 BCE. And in Islam, year one is 622 CE. Um, just in case you wanted to know. So that's all from me, short and sweet. I hope you found that enlightening, uh, if you even care about it. 
Um, yeah, I use the BCEC dating system because um, that works for me better, but the truth is there really isn't any difference between BCECE and BCAD. Thanks guys. I will see you next time. Bye.